Hi, my name is Ali Shesavar from Breacher Digital and in this short video we're going to talk about how you quickly measure the ESR of capacitors, after which we're going to talk about the technical details of how important ESR is in your power supply loop design. First, uh, we're going to connect up the, uh, the test fixtures. Uh, there are two. Uh, there is one for through-hole components and one for surface mat. I have got a through-hole component at the moment, so I'm going to go through uh, the through-hole measurement, uh, but later on we will do a surface mat. Uh, we're going to connect them up. Uh, you need three BNC cables. The output goes directly to source. Then channel one of the body goes to channel one of the test fixture and finally channel two goes to channel two. So uh, we can now put the uh, capacitor into the test fixture in order to measure it. However, uh, we need to cancel out the impact of these cables and the actual test fixture itself and therefore it is very very important to calibrate the device and we do that with a calibration test fixture first before we do the measurement and that will improve our accuracy. Okay so uh, when you run body analyzer suite at first uh, you will get uh, a screen like this uh, this is the opening screen and uh, we are doing impedance analysis so first thing that you need to do is uh, click on this tab here and then here you see several options uh, we are using an impedance adapter which is this uh, box here and therefore all you have to do is now click, click on this and this will automatically set up the body for the uh, use, use of the impedance adapter. Uh, after you've clicked that, this is the screen that will open. Now it is at this point that uh, I, I must stress, it's very, very important to calibrate uh, the uh, instrument so that it will negate the impact of all these cables and the actual box. And here we're going to do a user calibration. So. Uh, you get three options, open, short and load. Open is when the impedance adapt adapter is uh, open circuited, so there's nothing in it and you just press that. Then short, we need to short these two and Bode 100 comes with this tiny little uh, PCB uh, which is designed for calibration and one side of it is just a copper bar. So if I put this side in, you're actually shorting these two ends and then you do a short calibration and then finally load. So on the other side of the PCB, there is a tiny precision 100 ohm resistor, which you can put this on. The software already expects a 100 ohm resistor to be put in here. So when you press the load, it can now measure the 100 ohm, knowing and expecting a 100 ohm resistor. And then we close. So now you can see that now that we have calibrated, this area has gone green to show that it is actually calibrated. Let's do a measurement to see if you read 100 ohms. Yes, we do see 100 ohms and uh, the phase is zero. So it's measuring correctly. So that gives me confidence that the device has been calibrated properly. So now I can take this out. I can put in my capacitor. And now, here you can see that the red trace uh, is uh, the, um, the, the gain, uh, the impedance, and the blue trace is the phase. Uh, I can right click and optimize the scales so that I can see it better. And you can see now that this, the gain from the gain plot here, that uh, it is capacitive from this region up to around here. Then it goes flat, becomes uh, resistive, and then it goes back up, becoming inductive. So this is the phase information, but I can change that and display the resistance because I'm interested in the ESR. So if I click on that, it is now displaying the ESR down here. Again, I right click and I optimize the scales and I can see the ESR. And now you can see with the cursors that the ESR is displayed around here and it is relatively flat for this particular electrolytic capacitor around this, this range. So now that uh, we have gone through how you set up the instrument and we're making a very nice measurement of the ESR of this capacitor, uh, let's have a little bit of a technical discussion about the importance of ESR. So the ESR of the capacitor invariably appears in the transfer function of your power supply and therefore you need to measure it. Now the question is where 
do you actually measure the ESR? At what frequency? Um, now, for control loop analysis, you measure the ESR at the crossover frequency. So if your crossover frequency is uh, 10 kilohertz, then you measure your ESR at 10 kilohertz. For ripple analysis, because ESR has got a significant impact on the output ripple, for ripple analysis, you want to measure the ESR at the uh, switching frequency. Now, for a lot of electrolytic capacitors, whereby, as you saw earlier on, it's got a quite a flat shape, uh, the magnitude has got a flat shape over a very ra large frequency range, it is not making that big a difference. But if you had a lot of ceramics, for example, or surface mount ceramic capacitors is becoming increasingly popular, then there will be a big difference in the SR between your crossover frequency and your uh, switching frequency. Uh, to show you also the impact of the lead length, at the moment, this capacitor is pushed tight into this uh, impedance adapter. Um, now, if you look at the measurement that I'm making and just have a look at how it changes with me moving this slowly up. So first, I am going to uh, save this trace. You can do that by pressing this memory, uh, the measurement to memory button. So if I do that, it is uh, saved into memory one. So with this one button click, all the data is now saved. And now if I move this capacitor out, you should see how the inductance changes. So look at, look at the magnitude here. That is the inductance. I've only moved it up by about four millimeters. If I push it down, it goes back to where it was. This is how it will sit on the PCB. Now, look at what will happen if I just pull this out. This is now about one centimeter. Look at how the, induct the lead inductance is actually impacting the values that is being impacted by the length. And also the ESR is changing. Uh, if I put it up here, it gets even worse. So the this box is actually very, very important in making sure that you've got a correct measurement because if you've got a box whereby you have to have dangly wires in order to be able to put the, the component in, then the chances are that you'll be measuring this and not this. Uh, this becomes vitally important when uh, you deal with the surface mount components and that's why there is a second uh, box um, which uh, um, impedance adapter, which uh, Omicron has designed so that you could actually put your uh, a surface mount component in here and then make a correct measurement without the impact of the component leads.